Next up, ladies and gentlemen, Sarah, our head of content and events, talks directly to Andrew Mahadavan, who is the vice president of Asia Pacific for Life Fitness. She walks through the new Life Fitness headquarters in Hong Kong and chats to Andrew specifically about where the market is moving to in Asia and where growth can be found in 2021. Welcome to the World Health, Fitness and Wellness APEC Leadership Summit organized by the Fit Summit. Today we are joined by Andrew Mahadevan, who is the Vice President for APEC at Life Fitness. Andrew has been with Life Fitness and formerly Brunswick Corporation for over 10 years and has held a variety of positions within the company, including leadership roles within consumer, commercial distribution, strategic accounts, and Latin America. Andrew, let's now dive into the first question. 2020 has seen an explosion in the at-home and connected fitness market. Will their blistering momentum continue? And if so, why? I do believe that we will continue to see growth in the connected fitness space. At this pace is questionable because of the spike of new entrants and competitors who just pumped a ton of capital to create and launch new products quickly. 
I mean, when Peloton's valuation has skyrocketed and you have players like Apple entered in space, it no longer becomes a niche market. And I think that actually becomes an opportunity for everyone in the health and fitness business. For example, as we come out of this crisis and operators know already they have the right cardio, they've got the right strength, they've got the right group training hardware, we need to focus directly on the consumer and what are their expectations. What does the consumer want from joining a gym? They want health, they want community, socialization, access to trainers, variety of exercise, variety of equipment. We've got to use digital to achieve this in line with customer expectations. It has to be elevated to the strategy of the club. When a member walks in thinking about joining, outside of the hardware you have, how can we use connected fitness to truly engage that new member and also use connected fitness to retain existing members? Your team looks after the China market. It's very encouraging to see life beyond COVID emerge there. What is the current state of play with the Chinese market and in the fitness and wellness industry? We are very encouraged to see gyms all over China gradually and even fully reopening their doors to welcome back previous members as well as new members they've attracted from digital engagement. As a whole, the fitness landscape in China is changing rapidly with more people embracing and investing in their health and wellness. According to a Nielsen survey on China's homebody economy in April, 80% of respondents said they will pay more attention to eating healthy even after the pandemic. Additionally, 75% said they would spend more on sports and fitness in the future. This increased interest in fitness, combined with a strong economy, have led to the rise in the number of gyms and exercisers. We anticipate the demand for health and fitness will continue to grow significantly in China. We believe China presents the biggest growth opportunity globally for life fitness and we're focused on further establishing our footprint here. This year, we expanded our partnership with a major distributor, Active Lifestyle, and we are opening the first Life Fitness Experience Center in the Shanghai Tower this winter. Now let's move on to the third question. How well is the APEC commercial market recovering and how long till it would normalize? It really varies widely country by country. But if you look at the overall Asia Pacific commercial fitness market, it's typically right on track to recovery with gyms gradually opening or some gyms that are fully reopened. Gyms that have reopened in most Asia Pacific countries have enhanced health and safety measures in place to protect members and staff. These members are helping operators gain the trust and confidence of members as they return. Many operators and even large franchisees have shifted their strategies to incorporate more digital offerings as a second revenue stream. They're creating and delivering digital content to members, including live workouts with PTs and even online training boot camps. Your question was when, and I don't think any of us know, but our best guess is the second half of 2021. I know there are operators out there right now wondering if they will make it. You know, when will members come back? Will members continue with at-home workouts? You know, given the cost benefit, my bet is on commercial clubs that deliver the right products and the right experience. And I would even say I'm more bullish than ever on our industry's future in Asia. In less than 5% membership penetration rate and a highly increased awareness of health, it can only do us good. I understand that Life Fitness have been heavily involved in helping operators with reopening their facilities. What lessons have you learned that could help operators open with great success? Clear and consistent communication to your members is always key. There's no shortage of information on health and safety right now, and operators need to clearly and consistently communicate what they're doing to keep their members safe. Although the fitness industry has always prioritized health, we have to rebuild some trust with members and potential members to ensure they're comfortable and confident in the facility and the staff's role in keeping them safe. Think about the member. They want to exercise, but they want to be safe. 
You have numerous gradients on who wants to come back and at what level. So how can you create the right message, but also deliver on expectations? We're even in the process right now of launching a module that allows a member to see peak traffic time in the gym, buy cardio piece, even real-time usage. It doesn't cost anything to the club or the member, but it's our way of trying to get consumers comfortable again. How people feel is out of our control, but we need to focus on what we can do to influence how they feel. Control the controllable. Tweeny Tweeny has proven extremely challenging for all involved in the spa and wellness and hospitality industry. How will this crisis impact their outlooks and interest in new fitness, spa and wellness investments? At this point, it's still difficult to tell due to the sharp decline in international and corporate travel this year. But we do anticipate travel will start to normalize next year. Leisure travel, especially to destinations within driving distance, will continue to do well as more people are working from home and have more flexibility to travel locally. We are seeing interest in in-room fitness equipment that allows guests to exercise and engage in wellness activities from the safety of their own room. Life Fitness is one of Hilton's preferred vendors for its Five Feet to Fitness program, where we've recently expanded our product offerings to include the IC5 indoor cycle and the Synergy 180P functional training system. These two solutions offer guests a total body workout without having to leave the room. What business or investment trends do you expect to see in hospitality in 2021? From a macro perspective, I think we will continue to see a heck of a lot more creativity to create local consumer demand before travel resumes and normalizes. I even saw an example of a large chain implementing no check-in or check-out time. Guests can come and go when they please. I know that this has implications for occupancy, but they probably looked at their current P&L and this was a better option. Uh, looking industry specific, we do expect to see more interest in in-room fitness experiences for guests who prefer to exercise in the comfort and safety of their own room. We can offer a variety of in-room solutions through our family of brands that will deliver a total body workout in a compact space. Guided on-demand classes also enhance both the in-room and in-facility experience with content to inspire exercisers. Our Life Fitness On Demand and Digital Coach classes are great ways to motivate guests with fresh and engaging content. In 2021, we will also see more hotel operators taking a holistic approach to health and wellness across our entire property with offerings for every type of guest. In addition to in-room experiences, we expect to see more functional training facilities, recovery, meditation, and yoga classes, as well as guidance on nutrition and overall wellness. There is especially now a critical need for operators to commercialize and optimize every square inch of their floor. 
where can they maximize their value and find hidden ROI? And do you think cardio is king for commercial and hospitality? That's a great question. I'll give you specifics in a second around metrics, but I think our operators in local markets, they need to think about who their target customer base is, what they want, and how to deliver that value. And you know, frankly, I think that differs from market to market. Overall, we're seeing higher interest in cardio, and there are many opportunities to offer content, entertainment, and guided workouts on connected consoles. We've actually seen a lot of success with Life Fitness On Demand cardio classes available on our connected SE3 HD consoles. Since launch late last year, exercises have completed over 152,000 classes with a record high of over 37,000 in September 2020 alone. For additional revenue streams, we've seen operators use consoles for advertising space or even to promote another business as part of the gym, like a discount code for food and beverage. On top of cardio, operators should still be thinking about designing small group training spaces that combine cardio, strength, and performance training. Small group training allows trainers to more easily regulate class size and implement social distancing. Digital coach guided workouts can enhance small group training spaces with content for instructors to easily deliver classes or for exercisers to do a workout of the day independently. What new innovations can we look out for from Life Fitness in the next 12 to 18 months? And how are these going to revolutionize the market? I am incredibly excited about our pipeline in 2021 for products. We have a ton of exciting products coming to our commercial portfolio to continue to bring customers the largest variety of strength and cardio equipment. Most recently, Life Fitness introduced a comprehensive new line of strength training equipment, the Axiom Series, and two new rowers designed for performance training the heat and heat performance row. In 2021, we are launching a series of enhanced consoles and connected fitness offerings that help operators deliver best in-class content, coaching, and experiences to their members. There is also a big opportunity for us to gain market share in the consumer space, which is why we're invigorating our focus here in 2021. To do this, we're pursuing direct-to-consumer opportunities and building our e-commerce capabilities in conjunction with our distributor partners as well as developing new products to specifically serve the consumer market. Let's ensure we end on a positive note. What excites you most about the future of the APEC industry? Asia is such a special region to me personally, but also professionally, specifically being in this industry. I have the best job in the world. I work with a team that is dedicated to help people lead healthier, more active lives. If you look at almost every country in Asia, they're, they're under the normalized commercial gym membership penetration rate, and people were and now are paying much more attention on their health and well-being. So I couldn't imagine a better space to be in. Look, I, I know there are operators out there who are scared about what we've, been, what we've been through. They're scared about the uncertain future. But my message to you is if you love what you do, you believe in your business model, stick it out. It's tough for everybody right now, but control the controllable, and we will get through this stronger, more advanced, and more agile.
Thank you so so much, Andrew, for joining us and enlightening us with insights on what ha- what's happening in the APEC industry and especially with live fitness. Thank you for your time, Andrew. Thank you so much, audience, for actually watching this. Thank you. Oh, mm-hmm.